By freezing foods properly, we can store them longer. Amy Goodman, senior editor of All You Magazine, is here with some storage tips. Yeah, we don't so, need a freezer. It's so freezing here in the studio. You know, just leave it out and it all freezes naturally, it, it, don't it, you think? It lasts forever, actually. <laughs> Sorry about it. It's not quite as cold as Letterman, but it's kind of in the neighborhood of that. We well, should have encouraged you to bring a coat. I'm sorry. No, no, not at all. But honestly, when you really have an abundant freezer filled mm -hmm. with things, when you have a pantry that's full, mm -hmm. you're saving money, you're saving time, you're saving energy when it comes to cooking. And there's nothing better than when you come home after a long day at work right. to a full freezer. And, and going out to dinner, that's where you waste money. That's where you Big spend time. a lot of money. Yeah. So being freezer wise is what our, ta our task is today. And because especially now with this economy and everything else, you're always trying to find that place to save a couple of bucks. And this could really add up over time, right? Absolutely. And the food okay. prices are just escalating. Yes, exactly So first right. up, we want to ward against freezer burn. Freezer mm -hmm. burn is when the air comes into contact with the food and dehydrates it. So you want to take your fresh chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. You want to put it into like a freezer foil, mm -hmm. a container that's specifically made to withstand cold temperatures in the freezer, mm -hmm. or a Ziploc bag or a Zippy bag. Right. Oh, you're doing an excellent job. You um, really that, want to make this these, as airtight as possible. That's right? right. You do not want to have the food to have any contact with the air. Yeah. Excellent. Good now, job. Did, now, would you put this in there then after this? You could if you wanted to, but it's not actually not necessary. This is freezer this is enough? foil. So yeah. this is absolutely enough. You just wouldn't know enough. what's in there. Right. Well, you have to make your little notes with your marquee pens now, wouldn't you? Oh, okay. Where am I? Well, All right. Bring the marquee pens. Okay. <laughs> Next okay. up is perishable items. Right. Actually, things like bread, they only mm. last five to seven days on the yeah. counter. Oh, yeah. But if you toss them into the freezer, now remember, you got to take it out of the original packaging. Take it out of there. Put it into a Ziploc bag. A baggie, real freezer bag. And bread is actually really great. You can take individual slices, right. thaw them just a little, toast them up. You can eat them right then and there. It doesn't yeah. require a lot of defrost. That's smart time. because, you know, we get green bread in our house. Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, well, you, you know how that works. Well, if it's in there the a couple of days. I know, exactly. Yeah, okay, now what's this? Also, instead of buying frozen dinners, use mm -hmm. your own leftovers. Freeze them in the container. You would actually toss into the oven. We put this into a casual right. dish, yeah. our little chicken. Right. That saves you time and energy later when you reheat it. Oh. Yes, there well, you, you are go. You are saving money. These are all such good ideas. And they're, honestly, they're very, very easy. They're yeah. practical. Here, this is with the containers. You want to actually fit the volume of the food to mm -hmm. the container. Right. You see our little pesto pasta here? That is way too much air inside that packaging. And the more it's air. It's going to dry it right out. Air the is the more enemy. freezer burn. That's right, man. That's right. Harry. Air is the enemy. Air A is lot of enemy. people think that prepackaged items like mm -hmm. margarine tubs that they save, which is great for the refrigerator, sure. don't transfer to the freezer because it just dries out the right. food. Right. Okay, and finally, like uh, proteins, can you do that? Well, yes. This is about how foods, how long they last in the actual mm -hmm. freezer. When it comes to things like bread, it lasts up to a year. Ground meat, four months. Uh -huh. When you have fish, it can last up to six months, which right. is great. Right. Um, a whole chicken, up to a year, and fresh fruits and vegetables. We can enjoy them all year long because you can wow. save them for up to a year. Amy Goodman, good job. Thank Way to you. go! Thanks so much.